Jujutsu Kaisen, as we all know, is an anime filled to the brim with interesting characters, with each character bringing something different to the table in terms of personality and skill, and there's a lot of characters that everyone could identify with and relate to. Not much like Jujutsu Kaisen, the NBA is also a league filled with many talents, personalities, and stories. And with doing some thorough research, it isn't hard to find similarities between Jujutsu Kaisen characters and NBA players. In this video, I'll be finding NBA counterparts for Jujutsu Kaisen characters based on their story, power, and personality. Now, if you want to take part in these comparisons, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And if you like these type of videos, feel free to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post. In a world filled with sorcerers who are gifted at using cursed energy, there's one character who's been able to climb up the ranks despite not possessing it, and that character is none other than Toji. In the show, he was able to hold his own against very strong opponents due to his ability to maximize his skill sets in other areas of fighting. With being one of the only characters in the show who could actually trade blows evenly with Gojo, even though he lost, it's safe to say he proved he was a force to be reckoned with. But besides his skills, in battle and even outside of battle, he could be seen as cool-headed and confident in his ability. But when someone gets to talking trash, he had no problem going back and forth with him. Now with being on to eliminate his enemies with no problem, he earned himself the name, The Sorcerer Killer. So what better player is there to compare him to, other than the Slim Reaper himself, Kevin Durant. KD, much like Toji, is a player who entered the NBA very limited not in skill set, but strength. With KD not possessing the strength that people thought was required of NBA players at the time, he had to make up for his lack of power with his insane scoring ability. With being renowned as one of the best scorers in the league, much like how Toji was able to hang with guys like Gojo, KD in the NBA is able to hang with arguably the greatest players of all time in guys like Curry and LeBron James. But outside of battle, personality wise, these guys both keep a calm and collected demeanor in battle. And as we all know, much like Toji has no problem talking back to people, the same thing could very clearly be said about KD. With these guys also being known as efficient killers, it's another reason why this comparison fits so well. If we were to name a young sorcerer who's proven to be a consistent problem for his opponents, look no further than Megami. With being said to potentially one day become as strong or even stronger than Gojo, Megami in the show has already proven to be extremely formidable. Now although he possesses insane strength and skill at a young age, one of his deadliest qualities is his ability to keep his composure in battle. With being able to keep calm and execute his moves in the midst of battle is one of the reasons why he's one of the coldest characters in the show. Watching his fights, every move he makes is calculated and he's always one step ahead of his opponent, which makes him a perfect rival for Yuji Itadori. Now one thing that fans like myself love about him is his personality. He's a character who really just keeps himself and I guess in my opinion, it adds to his aura. So what better player fits Megami other than Shea Gilgis Alexander? Much like Megami, Shea's a player in the NBA who's proven to have insane potential. With being in the MVP race last season, he's been able to solidify his name as a superstar in the league. And with being young, it's safe to say that much like Megami, he has potential to be an extremely great player. But one of the things that really connects this comparison is their consistency. They're both guys who could heavily be relied on in battle to get the job done. And this of course is due to their ability to keep a calm head while they're in battle. None of these guys ever put a move to waste. Now Shea's a player whose fan love comes from his personality. With both being characters who don't really do too much and are pretty much laid back for the most part is the last thing that really connects this comparison. Now from the moment we first laid eyes on Yuji Tadori, it was pretty clear that in terms of his physical attributes and athleticism, he surpasses almost everyone in the show. With not only being able to overpower his opponent, but also utilize his explosive nature in battle is one of the main reasons why he's such a tough opponent to beat. But besides his physical gifts, he was also able to combine his raw power with cursed energy. Now with being a character who could beat you by overpowering you and skillfully destroying you, it's safe to say that Yuji's potential to be one of the strongest sorcerers is clear as day. His accuracy acrobatic fighting style isn't only entertaining to watch, but also good enough to beat many tough opponents. But one thing that separates Yuji from a lot of characters in the show is his personality. With being a character who cares deeply for not only his team, but everyone around him, made him an easy character for others to gravitate towards. And with having an extremely energetic personality, there's rarely ever a dull moment when he's around. But even though he's one of the more outgoing characters in the show, when it's time to lock in and beat an opponent, he has no problem doing so. Now another thing that separates Yuji from other characters is that he quite literally has a monster inside him that could take over and dominate at any second. So with that being said, what NBA player fits Yuji more perfectly than Anthony Edwards?
Much like Yuji and is a player we could all very well say is an athletic freak of nature. With constantly proving that he isn't a player that you want to jump with, and with his athletic ability alone, is able to catapult himself as one of the best players in the league. But another reason he's so good is much like Yuji, he physically is one of the strongest players at his position. Skill wise, they both compare perfectly due to the fact that they're both acrobatic fighters who could dominate their opponents with their motor and physical gifts. But I'd be lying if I said they only use their physical gifts to have their way in battle. With being players who have proven to also possess necessary skill sets is also another reason why they compare so well. But outside of battle, personality wise, these two both share many traits. With Ant much like Yuji being an outgoing character who never seems to have a boring moment is one of the reasons why many fans gravitate towards them. But despite their energetic and outgoing personalities, when it's time for them to lock in, they both have no problem doing so. Ant isn't afraid to spaz out on the court and kill other teams chances to win. With both these guys being young and possessing unreal potential is another reason why this comparison fits so well. One character in Jujutsu Kaisen we can hands down all say has proven time and time again how tough he is, is none other than Gojo. With being blessed with probably the most overpowered ability in the show, Gojo from an early age was able to stand out from the other sorcerers in the show. Skill wise, the only character who we know able to match his skill level is none other than Sukuna. And with him being so powerful, he damn near ran the Jujutsu world. Everything in the Jujutsu society pretty much ran through him. And with him being the strongest, there's nothing the higher ups could do to stop him from doing what he truly wanted to do. He specialized in almost any form of combat in the show, whether it's hand-to-hand -hand combat or using cursed energy. But the main thing that separates him from all the sorcerers was his IQ. Every single action he took in battle had a purpose, with thinking of every possible outcome and move only made him more formidable. Now apart from being a great fighter, as we can see in the show, he was also a pretty great leader as well. And this is mainly due to the fact that he's well experienced in battle and also due to his outgoing personality. So with that being said, what other player fits Gojo more perfectly than LeBron James? LeBron James, as we all know, is pretty much the most complete basketball player we've ever seen. The thing that really makes this comparison work is much like Gojo, he's an extremely versatile player. With pretty much being able to do anything on the court, it only makes sense for Bron to be viewed as one of, if not the greatest player of all time. And part of the reason he was able to get that title is due to how smart he is on the court. Through the years, we've seen countless of players talk about how insane LeBron's intellect is. Now his battle IQ and versatility aren't the only thing that makes this comparison fit so well. Much like Gojo, Bron can also be seen as a pretty good leader and his resume of leading teams to multiple championships can only help to back this claim with lebron proving time and time again that he clearly runs the nba much like gojo there really isn't anyone in the league who can control or tell Braun what to do Sukuna since the beginning of the show has been regarded as the strongest Jujutsu sorcerer and the reason for this is because during his era he was able to dominate anything that came across him. With being an overwhelming force he was deemed as the king of curses. He was a fighter whose skill set was completely unmatched. With being able to dominate you one on one or even one on many there really wasn't anything anyone in his era could do to contain or stop him. Sukuna was a fighter who outmatched his opponents with speed, strength and any other physical qualities you could think of but what truly makes him a scary character is his personal personality. Personality wise, he can be named as selfish, narcissistic, and cold hearted due to the lengths he was willing to take to achieve his goal. But despite him being an a-hole, he was one of the most intelligent characters in the show. And ultimately, this is what led to his success. So what better NBA player fits him other than Michael Jordan himself? Now many people believe Michael Jordan to be the greatest player of all time, and if you take a look at his resume, it's hard not to understand why he was given that title. With his complete dominance over his era, he rightfully earned the title as the GOAT. But much like Sukuna, his success came from his harsh personality. With wanting to achieve his goals at all costs, MJ to other players could kind of be seen as selfish, narcissistic, and cold-hearted like Sukuna due to the lengths they were willing to take to win. Now skill-wise, both these guys were unmatched by anyone else in the era. With Jordan being able to pretty much have his way against any of his opponents, it's another reason why this comparison matches perfectly. They both possess killer instincts that help dominate and win battles. Now if you're a fan of Naruto and you want to see your favorite Naruto character compared to an NBA player, feel free to check out my last video. Lastly, if you have any shorts, reels, or TikTok videos you want edited, I'm offering my services to help edit videos for a cheap price. So if you're interested in me editing your videos, check out my Fiverr link in the description. If you like these type of videos and want to see more, please like, comment, and subscribe. And for more content, please follow my TikTok and Instagram. Thank y'all for watching.